Hello, my name is Dr. Stuart Yeager. I'm a chiropractic physician specializing in holistic health and wellness care. We're here to talk to you about the six steps of wellness. And the first of those steps is removing nerve interference. So removing nerve interference means getting that nervous system so it's functioning and firing so you're out of pain and your whole body can function normally. So what kind of conditions are associated with that? An example of that would be carpal tunnel from repetitive movements of your hand and your wrist. Back and leg pain coming from lifting, falls, repetitive trauma um, from doing the same thing over and over again, foot pronation, different kinds of accidents and poor posture. Neck and shoulder pain coming from auto accident injuries, working at a desk or a computer, lifting, sports injuries, poor posture, emotional stress and allergies. PMJ dysfunction, we're talking about grinding of teeth at night, headaches, neck and shoulder pain, coming from auto injury, stress, it could also come from dental work. Now, there are a number of different ways to remove nerve interference, we're talking about the adjustments, removing myofascial and scar tissue, brain balancing, visceral manipulation, cranial sacral rhythm, activating weak muscles and neuromuscular re-education. So what's an adjustment do? Well, when the vertebrae are not moving like they should, and this actually applies to any joint, it, they can be moving like this. And when it's moving like this and flexibly, other, some areas are stuck. And so we need to restore that so there's less stress on certain areas of the spine, and the whole joint can move flexibly and normally. So also the adjustment can re remove a, a bone that's out of place, what we call subluxated. It improves proprioception input for smooth movement. It reduces pain and improves flexibility and range of motion and muscle strength. And it also improves the firing of neurons. And there are different kinds of nerve fibers. There are those that are in the disc and in the joints and the muscles and in the uh, ligaments. And those are the ones that are more associated with the pain or the numbness and the tingling. And uh, so those are important that you are aware of that, but there are also those nerves that are in the spinal cord that are associated with the autonomic nervous system. And perhaps this is even more important because those are the ones going to the lungs, to the heart, controlling the breathing rate, the heart rate, the digestive system, your bladder, so controlling your, those functions and keeping your body warm. Now removing myofascial scar tissue is extremely important because it's that thin membrane around your organs and in your muscles, your, your whole body, that because of injury, scar tissue, stress, overuse, allergies, infections, that, that causes these things to tighten up and create adhesions in scar tissue that are strangling your, your muscles and your body's function. Brain balance, and we're talking about the left and the right brain, and your body, your, the balance of the brain functions of the cranial nerves or um, your memory and just the way that your whole brain functions. Visual manipulation is very important for like women that have gone through childbirth or trauma or weakened supportive muscles. Um, we bring those organs back into, into proper position. For example, a drop of bladder, you can have a leaky bladder. Um, Cradial sacral rhythm is another important way to remove nerve interference, and that's the fine movement of the brain, or the, not the brain, but the skull where, as you're breathing. And if it's not moving, then it irritates the meninges, which means the whole spinal cord, the nervous system, and those muscles will tighten up, and you also often have like ribs going out of place that are very tight and uh, very painful. Activating weak muscles or loosening up the tight muscles. When muscles are tight, they're going to pull your shoulders forward, and the weak ones will stretch. So when we balance them out, they're going to be balanced out so they're working together. This is very important for lower back or sh neck and shoulder problems. We do exercise using the laser. We also do adjustments and stretching and the massage. All these things are very important for treating those kinds of situations. Muscle, neuromuscular re-education improves the balance and coordination of your body. We use wobble boards and exercise symbols and the laser to treat uh, this kind of nerve interference. We had a patient come into our office that suffered for lower back pain for years. She had medications, she's had physical therapy, she's had many adjustments over the years. 
but it wasn't until we re released the scar tissue from her surgeries that she's had. She's had multiple surgeries. Once we did that, her back pain was finally able to be released. Removing nerve interference is just the first of the six steps to wellness, along with protecting from electromagnetic radiation, nutritional deficiencies, removing emotional stress patterns that are affecting our health, allergies and sensitivities, and removing heavy metal toxins and other kinds of toxins. To learn more, go to our next video on electromagnetic pollution, or you may call our office at 801-943-3355.